In this video, we are going to create a simple form inside the Next.js 15 application where we can input our prompt and when we click submit, we are sending an API call to the OpenAI API and we are getting back the AI response. And for this small app, we are going to use ShedCN for the form and the validation with React hook forms and also we are using server actions. As always, you have the repo in the description below and to build this small app, we are going to use best practices so you definitely don't want to miss this video. So let's start. We have here a fresh copy of Next.js and the version is 15.1.3, which is the latest version in this moment. And first thing that we need to do is to go to the sdk.vercel.ai and to install our OpenAI provider. This is really easy. We have here the pmpm add AI SDK OpenAI command. I'm just going to copy paste it inside of my terminal. And here it is. It is installing. And when we see that it is successful, now we can just check the example from their documentation. It is here. So this is the example that we are going to use. And it's the simple text generation. So we are giving here a prompt, in this case, write a vegetarian lasagna recipe for four people. And we are going to copy this code and we can already start creating our server action. So now I'm opening the code and we are going to create a new directory inside of our root and we are going to call it server. And inside of that directory, a new file ai.ts. And there I'm just going to paste that code from the Vercel documentation here. And we are just going to turn this one into a function. So I'm creating a new function here. I'm going to export it and we are going to call it, for example, get AI response. And this is a good start. So we're going to put prompt as our parameter and we are just going to return generated text with our GPT-4 Turbo model and with prompt that we are giving it here dynamically. So now we can delete this part that we copy pasted from the documentation. And before testing it, there are three important steps. First step is that here we are obviously missing the module AI. So we have to add that one also. So here I'm going to type in pmpm add AI to install also that dependency that we are missing. So here it is. Now this one should disappear. If we wait a little bit more, there it is. Then second step is that we need our OpenAI API key. If we check the documentation here and here, here it is. So basically it defaults to the OpenAI API key environment variable. So we are going to copy that one. And here we are going to create a new file .env .example. And there we are going to put OpenAI API key like this. And now we are going to create a new file .env .local, which we are going to use here on our local project like this. And now I'm going to copy my real API key. I don't know what is this one. This is not, it doesn't look like API key. It's probably some kind of example. So I copied my real API key inside the env.local. And third thing that we shouldn't forget is here inside the ai.ts, we need to put use server. So we can actually use here our environment variables. And this one is basically going to be a mutation that we are going to call from our front end. So now we have our server action ready. Only thing needed is probably to put in some try catch to catch the errors or if anything goes wrong that we can just know what is happening. So now this one should be ready and we can start building our client side. Now we can go to our main page and here we're going to delete all this default stuff from Next.js first and we're going to put here main age one we can call it ai next.js that sounds good we are going to delete this image and here we can for start create yes just like this a button where we are going to create a function handle click so what we need to do here is to have some kind of input and whatever we type inside of that input we need to send 
to our server action in the moment when we click this button. So we need to create here an input and here we can just put it as type text and placeholder is enter your prompt. Everything sounds good. So now we need basically a state here. Here it is prompt state and we have a response state also. So everything looks good here. This is pretty simple stuff. So AI knows exactly what I'm doing. And here we are calling our server action get AI response. We're just going to import use state from react and get AI response from our server action. And we need to display our response after we get it like this. And also here we need to put a value from our prompt and on change, we are changing our state here. So we know exactly what are we sending to our get AI response server action. So this one should already work. Let's try it out. We are going to create next app and here I'm going to refresh. Obviously our app is not working. So here I'm going to run it again, PM, PM dev to see if everything is okay. Looks good. I'm going to refresh the screen and now we should get our input and okay. I forgot to put the use client. So here we need to use client. This one is not really good practice to put use client on, on the on page, but we are going to fix it later. So now we have here our prompt input and we have our button get a response. So let's try it out. Here I'm going to say give me 10 orkish names and to click get AI response. Let's just open the console log in case of some errors and clicking. So everything looks good for now and let's see if we are going to get response. Here it is. So we are getting here results from AI and this is exactly what we want what we wanted and awesome. So now we are going to make it beautiful and to follow all good practices. So we make this much, much better. First thing I'm going to do is to install ShadCN. So we are clicking get started installation next.js and we are going to run PMPM DLX ShadCN latest in it. So we are running that one inside of our terminal and that one is going to install ShedCN. So we need just to choose a couple of things. We're going to choose default stone and yes, we're going to use CSS variables. Nice. This one should be installed quickly. Here it is. Awesome. And we are going to go to the components form and we are going to install our form component. So we are going to the this one PMPM DLX ShedCN latest add form. Awesome. Then we are going to add the input and button. So these are all the things that we need to make it look better. And oh, button is already installed with the form. So what we need to do now is here basically on our page, this one shouldn't be a client component. We need to separate our AI form to put it here. And that one should be a client component. And there we are going to have validation and all the stuff we need for this kind of form. And we're going to call mutation from there. And this page is going to be clear in case we need to call some other like things from the database or anything that we need. So this is going to stay a server component. So now we're going to our form here, form component on shed CN documentation, and we are going to start copying all the things. So here inside of our components directory, I'm going to create a new file and call it AI form.tsx. And there I'm going to copy paste this thing from shed CN documentation, and we're going to use everything else. So we are importing Zod resolver and use form and all the things that we need. So this one also, this one we are going to put inside of our component like this. We are going to call it AI form and then we need to import our input and our button and our form components. So I'm importing that one here. 
and then we are just going to use it so i'm going to copy this entire return rendering here and i'm going to put it inside of our component and this one now looks good except instead of username we are going to say prompt and here also minimum two characters maximum 50 that one sounds okay we are just testing it so we can put everything like that and here also it should be prompt and here enter your prompt as a placeholder and we can just remove this description we don't need it it's not necessary and here instead of console log we are going to call our get ai response from our server action and this one needs to be an asynchronous function and we are just going to console log our response so now we can actually put this component inside of our page so here instead of this input and button and this response we are just going to call our ai form and import it from our components we are going to delete all these states and everything that is requiring us to make this component a client component and we have now our server component also this one this is good to make it look better in terms of the design so now if we check we have here a little bit better situation than before so we can now maybe better move it to the top instead of age screen i'm going to put padding of 24 like this nice and we could use maybe the card component to put everything inside the card i'm going to install this one quickly here it is the pmpm dlx chatcn latest add card and i'm going to add it quickly inside of our form component here like this and adding it like this let's see if this ai is going to handle this one nicely for me so inside the content i'm putting this one and car title ai form car description maybe something a little bit better ai form next.js nah i'm just going to delete it and here we have now our entire form inside the card so let's see how does it look it looks i think much better than before we're just going to put here like this the flex flex colon then gap of eight instead of that space y eight and with full nice this one is better we need to the to remove this footer we don't need that one like this and we are removing also from the imports nice so let's see how does it look it's okay we should remove probably this header to make it simple to have just a card and we can do it from here so removing that header and now we have just clean design simple card and we are just going to display our prompt here so we're going to do that one from our ai form so here if we just put in the fragments like this and here we're going to put ai response just like that response and if we check it out it's okay we're just going to put here a little bit of space so this one looks good okay yeah here we are going to have our ai response and for that one we are going to create a state so here inside of our component we are creating a new response state and we are going to import it from react and we are just going to set it here nice so let's see if this one is working we can also put loading quickly like this and here on our button we are going to put disabled in the case of loading and while it's loading we are going to put a loader too like this from the lucid icons it's not giving me yet the 
import but here we can put size 4 and animate spin instead of this one and loader to come on I need to reload my window and here for our AI response we're just going to put a response importing this loader to from our lucid icons and now everything should work let's try it out so here we are entering our prompt give me 10 orcish names submit we have our loading which is looking nice maybe this card should be probably bigger we're going to make it bigger and here we have our response nice everything is working working smoothly we don't have any bugs we can just make this ai form a little bit bigger so here on our card we're going to put with full and max width should be md i think is going to be good yes nice so this one is looking now much better and we can put in also some kind of description so we make it look professional enter a prompt and get an ai response nice that's it so we finished this one really quickly and this is something that i definitely recommend you to do inside of your project